Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to analyze gold market. Now interestingly gold, silver, euro, US dollar have moved exactly as we forecasted. It has surprised a lot of people but thanks God we were not surprised. We were actually ready and you took advantage of the price movement. Uh, you can actually refer back to my analysis of last week and you can actually check how clear the analysis was. So the question is what is going to happen with gold? Uh, just a point, we are only going to discuss gold in this video and we will, uh, I'll see if I can post a separate video for uh, silver and other analysis. So the point is what's going to happen after this? Uh, first of all, people who haven't seen my previous analysis, I brought in a trend line which is different from what most of the people are using and this comes with different points. So we are, I am particularly using that uh, trend line. This has been uh, going on from last week so you can check that on a four hourly chart we can also see that we have a trend line that was actually clearly broken so the question is right now what's going to happen first of all we need to see very important levels and I have drawn one right over here so price now is holding right at very important level and if you take a look on your left then we are seeing quite an important pattern right in the middle of previous uh, trend and then we have if you look further left then we have, can also see that important uh, support area uh, exists in this region and then there's also support in this region too. So this region itself plays very important role in our previous price movement if you look at it and we can see that that's also coming in action now. On a 15 minute chart we can see that uh, in uh, not only the importance of that area is bringing some support but we are also seeing some double bottom occurring as well. So looking at the the bearish uh, turnout of gold we can see that it we need a healthy correction right now all right so i'm considering this as a separate uh, Elliott uh, uh, pattern i'm considering this as a separate pattern and i'm considering this as a separate pattern so far at least and then we'll see if things how go for how the things go from here okay so you if you want you can consider them as one two or one two as well both cases are fine or you can consider, consider them as 1, 2, and 3, and 4. I'm right now considering that is individual, whether 1 or 3, both are up to you, but I'm looking at it as that we need some healthy correction. We are at a very important support area. We need, uh, on a 15 minute chart, we are also seeing double bottom occurring. So I'm considering this as well. I'm going to drop the uh, percentage tool, which was actually made famous by uh, Elliot, not Elliot actually, actually William Delbert Gann. So this fits in very good. We can see some support, some price section, some support around this very important area, some resistance, and then we can see that once this resistance actually was broken, we can see huge price movement, right? So that's very interesting. First jump actually took us to about 25% of the price drop. So I'm expecting that next time, we're gonna probably see a 50%, right? So I'm expecting that this would give us a good healthy point where we can actually join the bearish trend. So if you want to trade, just don't put your stop loss fine, far away. Somewhere around this region would be reasonable. Uh, and if price falls below this very important wrangle, a very important support area, 755 is a little cl too close. I would put it as around 1740. right so I would put my support if I want to join the trend I want to put my seven stop loss around 1740 and we are looking for a healthy correction going downward somewhere around 50% if price does get get a year 50% itself is a very important number for correction and we can also see some structure on the left where we can see that uh, some uh, the joining of the main trend which is bearish would be coming so this is also giving in some indication Another Im important structure lies right around 37.5%, right over here. So there is a possibility that price actually do not go all the way over to 50%, right over here. If price is really passionate about it, then we might see prices going downward, somewhere around 62.5 to 75%. It seems less likely, but markets are markets. We got to keep these things in mind. So when the price develops a trend on a 15 minute chart upward that will be very interesting we we'll can actually draw a support line all the way and then we can see the price wait for the prices to drop 
you guys remember what happened where we have seen this price action actually exactly before on a larger time frame though all right let me show you guys where exactly we have seen it right over here so we have seen already double bottom and in the double after the double bottom we saw a huge price action if that is uh, if that's what we are going to see then this is going to be very interesting we might see prices going all the way to 75 percent so that will be next few days are going to be very interesting it will be uh, uh, used as, as if in a fine market if you want to be a professional it should be used as a trend joining opportunity and not a other trading opportunity but I know uh, day traders day traders how restless they are so if you do want to do use as a double bottom as an entry point keep your stop loss close and do not let it all the way down keep in mind the major trend is bearish okay let's delete that and let's talk about the major trend so we have deleted that in my previous conversation I clearly said that in our last move the f larger swing downward we saw the price target around the right around the previous structure right previous support structure if you look at further down the next important support structure is right this one so on my previous video I did gave a price target for the bearish price movement and which is downward and I'm still looking toward it the larger trend stays still down as per my analysis and the target for is it is around 1440 area if we get a chance for then to join the trend it will be even better that will be healthy price movement that you're occurring it and I told you guys to please keep that in mind that we might see an elongated wave C so this could be wave A wave B wave C. this is this is wave A this is wave B and then we can see an elongated wave C both possibilities exist keep this in mind so if you are already in a trade you might want to take partial profits if you have some very uh, casual positions that are not tight then you might want to actually close them it's a very nice trade on its own remember that when prices were right over here on Friday evening I've made a forecast that we're gonna see a huge drop and then we have seen so uh, if you want to uh, contribute please do so by liking the uh, video contributing by putting some comments of whether you uh, are bearish or bullish on gold and see you soon have a good one and bye bye